now about the test execution engine. Test is Hindi for speed. It allows you to model and execute any kind of data processing as a data directed acyclic graph or DAG in short. So here we see a directed acyclic graph. What it means is that you a node represents some kind of computation and the edge is the dependency between the computation. For example, this node here could mean add the uh, result of this node with this node together, simply speaking. So after we have done such a, defined such a computation as a graph, um, we can then bring it together as a job and TESS partitions these jobs and runs them autonomously on our YARN environment. There is a so-called vertex manager component now here that defines the parallelism and resolves the dependencies. And then example deck is here in this graphic. So we have a map. We can, for example, use our map reduce kind of operations. We have mappers. We can have redu reducers that then join together the data of those two independent processes. To do so, you have to create um, a deck and vertexes and edges. In the edges, you have to define somehow how data is communicated because one compute task here is actually parallelized and the decision how it is parallelized and how the data is communicated and distributed is given as an argument. We look into that and at the end you put everything together by adding the vertexes and the edges. That's a bit <coughs> of detail. So the edge properties define pretty much how these producers and consumers work together. So you can have one process inside one of these commu uh, computation tasks that communicates with one on the receiver side. Right. So this is basically, if you look again at these edges, here we have one edge and one task here and one task here. Like I said, can be parallel. Here is represented as three processes. So each process communicates here with one exactly. Here we have a broadcast operation where all the data is sent to all kind of follow-up processes and you can have a scatter gather kind of operations where the data is distributed randomly or in some fashion across all the nodes. Details um, do not matter. It's just interesting to see that such a little node here hides a bit the idea that they, the processing happened parallel and you, so you have to think a bit about how data is distributed. This comes also with a dynamic graphic configuration theoretically. That means you can think of that on the fly you find out how many um, processing, compute processing uh, ca resources you need and so you spawn the right number of processors. So here we have for instance we initially start 150 uh, mapping processes and we think we may need 100 users but if we find out that the resulting data at this stage is really small, we may ne need only 10 reducers. So and this can be changed on the fly during the processing. Yeah, so also test tries to be task and resource aware, so it runs constantly, does reuse the existing containers that have been started using yarn and uh, tries to reuse those results, some doing some kind of caching. You see here that we have two test tasks that access some kind of shared objects stored on this host inside a container.